Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I pretty much am a perfume holic, honestly, and I love perfume. It's like my I just love it, honestly. It's like my finishing touch to any outfit that I wear and it just kind of says ooh la la. So I grew up with my mom wearing a lot of perfume, different perfumes, things like that. So we're gonna go over perfumes that I'm restocking right now. Um, they're actually layerable. Um, I am in the process of restocking a lot of my perfumes and testing out new perfumes. Um, that's something I really wanted to do this year and going into the next year, so. Let's get started. I am so parched. Oh my god. Um, the first perfume I'm gonna go over, and these are all my summer scents. Um, I think usually I do this thing where I go to Sephora or I go online on Amazon and I kind of just restock my bottles for my summer perfume and my um, winter perfume. During the summer, I wear all of my fruity scents. Um, rose, um, orange, clementine, blood orange, anything like that. Lemon scents is a huge thing for me during the summer. Um, I need light, fresh scents is something I really love to wear during the summer, so that's a huge thing. Um, and then the winter, I'm huge into, obviously, vanilla. Vanilla, vanilla, vanilla is my huge thing. Um, anything sexy and musky is what I usually wear during winter um, for that warm coziness. So I know it might sound a little weird, um, but apparently other people don't do that. <laughs> so I was like, what? I guess the people I hang out with, they don't do that. So further ado, let me explain to you guys um, what I am layering. Um, and these are the only perfumes I have left that I layer. I am, again, looking into more perfumes, but, you know, quite frankly, it just costs a lot to kind of restock all of this right now, and this is all that I have left for my summer stuff, so I do know going into, like, February, I really need to, like, hurry up and restock. I think the only scent I'm missing is lemon. Um, there is a lemon perfume and a lemon body butter that I just love. Anyways, let me stop rambling and get to the point. Okay. First, um, I take Grapefruit Breeze from Bath & Body Works. This is a discontinued scent. Um, you can find it on Amazon for like, I think, $30. Um, I think last time I checked it was $30 or um, from 20 to 30, something like that. Um, but you can still buy it. It is very light smelling. It just smells like really fresh grapefruit. I love the smell of grapefruit. That's something I love to smell like in the summer, hop out of the shower, um, throw on some nice loose clothing and just have that summery scent to me. Um, especially when the sun hits my skin and just really adds to it. Um, and I mix it with Pacifica's T Tuscan Blood Orange. Um, this literally, this little bottle is like almost $30. It's, um, one fluid ounce. It's really tiny, actually, guys. I have learned over the years to really be um, frugal with this bottle, um, but I will take it with me. Once I mix the two together, um, I will take this bottle in my bag just to um, as an extra spritzer during the day. I do put either lemon lotion on or um, blood orange lotion on my skin after I get out of the shower during the summer and I'll layer these perfumes on. I do know that it, it lasts, that makes the, the blood orange smell or that grapefruit smell last longer. So you're pretty much just mixing grapefruit and orange together. But I definitely think it has a really fresh, sexy scent to it. It's just really playful. It makes, it reminds me of like high school, honestly. It's just like really fresh and playful and just like, I don't know, something about it. But I've been layering these scents together for like um, or I've been layering these ideas together for a hot minute, but I finally have just like landed on these two as my favorite scents. Um, I have gone as far as actually making my own scent. There's a, um, mom and pop, um, place, I don't remember the name, but they actually let you make your own fragrance. And I tried to make this whole scent together and it was extremely way too sweet. I was like... It mixed literally grapefruit with blood orange, but it was like this coy sweetness. Um, so I just kind of stick to this and it's a little bit more fresh and clean. Um, especially once you put the, um, you can even put mango lotion underneath if you want it to be like a tropical smoothie. <laughs> if you want. Um, but I like the lemon or the grapefruit lotion. I think that's the only thing I'm missing. I haven't restocked my body butters because I ran out of them completely. So I definitely do need to do a huge body butter haul. And all the body butters that I buy are really on Amazon. I get them really cheap. 
and I just lather that crap up. Um, next thing that I usually wear during the summer, I haven't restocked this in a hot minute because um, it adds up and I had saw it be kind of on, not really on sale, but it was a little cheaper price than it was on Amazon when I happened to be in the store. Um, a couple weeks ago and I really just fell in love with it. This is French perfume, first off. Um, it's it's called Provence Sante. I am sure I'm butchering it, but I do apologize. Um, I mix these three bottles together. So this one is Wild Rose, um, and then this one is Apricot, and then this one is Jasmine. You could wear all of these separately. I only got introduced to this brand because there was a lemon scent that they had that my mom had gifted to me. Um, I think maybe two years ago, and with that lemon scent, I adored it. There's this perfume called Clean. If you guys have ever heard of it, it is like this lemony fresh scent and um, Clean has revamped um, their products. So it used to be, um, first off the bottles used to be like maybe 50 bucks. Then um, they revamped their bottle and their formula and so forth and so on and now the bottles are like hundred dollars. And I've only really found it at Sephora. I don't even think Fragrance Net has Clean Original. They're always out of stock and Perfume.com doesn't have Clean Original. So when my mom had bought me this French uh, lemon perfume, it smelled similar to Clean, but not fully. But you know what? I was in love. I had layered it with lemon, uh, lemon sorbet body cream <laughs> or body butter. And I would put that all over myself and then I would put the lemon scent on me and I would just smell like a lemon popsicle, literally. Um, I think it was a little bit too lemony. Um, Cause I remember like my nostrils would like burn a little bit. It was, it was intense, but that's how I got turned on <laughs> to this brand. So when I had saw it in the store a couple weeks ago, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get it. I was kind of hesitant to buy all three of these because it was a hundred dollars for three perfumes and it it's not summer so I was like okay well you know but I was like you know what um might as well just get it you know I know I'm gonna wear the apricot one smells very fresh and clean fruity but not too fruity these these scents are very grown up they're very sexy they're very uh, um alluring they're very like um just scrumptious honestly they're light and they're delicious and they're heavenly. I'm telling you guys, they're really, really awesome. Um, you can wear any of these by themselves or you can mix and match. I prefer, preferably like to mix. Um, I feel like it gives myself a more unique um, scent mixed with my own pheromones, mixed with the sun, mixed with some body butter. I'd be smelling like a snack. Um, when I was with my ex and I had like mixed all of these together, I think I like I had like lemon um, body butter on or may, may, lemon or um, some type of vanilla uh, scented lotion um, and he really really liked it. Um, he was like, "What are you wearing? You smell really good. Like, oh my god, you've never smelled this." I'm like, uh, "Excuse me, I'm like, woo." Um, so yeah, this is the wild rose and it smells like fresh roses. It doesn't smell artificial at all. It doesn't smell like alcoholy any of these scents actually and that's why i really like this french brand um and that's why i've kind of been going into french products as well um because it has less um alcohol in it and it smells more authentic to me anyways um this wild rose scent you honestly can mix with like um rose lotion and then just spritz over your body and then you're you're good to go you're gonna smell like literally fresh flowers and so delicious and delectable and just amazing like a natural grown-up it's so good oh so so good you know what? Oh, you guys don't even know all these to mixed together it has like this hint of musk from the jasmine this lightness of the rose and then this like i don't know fruitiness of the apricot it's really really good they also have a honeysuckle one don't even get me started i was gonna buy all of them um i think they have like five perfumes that i know of but i was like <laughs> i ain't got no money um so anyways um and again the jasmine's really really good but i don't like just light scents by them i don't know it's something about layering these makes me feel happy inside so anyways um those are the perfumes i like to layer for summertime um i will do a um winter one of this but i just have literally ran out of 
all of my winter uh, cheap, inexpensive layering perfumes. And all of this, honestly, is pretty inexpensive, guys. Let me show you this. Pretty inexpensive, I feel like. I think everything in here all together is like maybe less than $200 and I think that's pretty inexpensive especially considering that you're gonna layer it so you're not going to be you know and and plus I put body butter on of that um, mimics that smell so I'm just kind of adding to that scent and I feel like that really does last the whole day at least for me um, and I just I just love it and yeah so I will end up giving you guys a follow-up for the uh, winter ones I just actually need to order them and some of the ones I use are actually out of stock and I was trying to find them last night on Amazon I was like what because obviously there's no stores open right now so um there's a lot of stuff that I need to really just try and order and I will show you guys once I get it in and I think there's now to be a couple of new products that just, I'm gonna have to test out this year so um, anyways, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really, 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 really appreciate it. Um, and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment. I would really appreciate it. Um, I'm trying to grow my channel, guys. If you have not noticed, I'm trying to dedicate myself to posting. I'm really, really trying. I have this huge thing about being perfectionist and nothing's good enough. And if I don't have the best video, then I can't post it and yada, 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 yada. But my girlfriend's just giving me an earful, like, you need to post more on your channel. What are you doing? So I'm really trying to do that and stop being so finicky um, because I'm not the best at editing. I'm not the best at, you know, things like that. But I do think that my ideas are pretty cute anyways. So please <laughs> give me a comment below if you like this video. And please subscribe to my channel. Again, I would really appreciate it. Um, and thanks.